part of God of War, one of the greatest quotes I ever got from Todd Pappy is, it's not just nudity and violence, it's historically accurate, accurate nudity and violence. How awkward is it to design or, or work with or animate a topless female character? I, I'm not an animator, so I don't, I don't know, but I think, I think the guys that get to animate it probably enjoy it a little bit. Really? Okay, it actually is fun? I don't know. I mean, they, they look good, so... At what point do you decide to make beetles come out of a naked woman's chest? Uh, that was a weird one. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, I think the, that particular fury, she's supposed to be pretty creepy and, and a little bit just, like, disgusting, so I think it, if it makes you feel a little bit eerie and, and, and uncomfortable, I think that was the purpose. Do you, do you enjoy working on a, a straight-out, unabashed, M-rated title? Do you find it a challenge? Do you enjoy that challenge? I, I, I think it's important for a game to appeal to the proper audience. And so if we're an M-rated title, I, I feel like we should live up to that. And uh, you know, God of War is not a game for teenagers. It's just not. It, it's a game for the guys who grew up playing you know, Super Nintendo and, and PlayStation 1 and things like that. And now they want to play those classic games, the classic gameplay, but it's for them. It's for the adults. They don't, they don't mind seeing a little bit of nudity or a little bit of violence. In fact, to them, it's kind of exciting and, and fun because it doesn't take itself too seriously. It's just all about the, the entertainment value. Now, the thought about not putting female playable characters in the multiplayer, I know you guys kind of had your back against a wall on that one, but what was finally the thing that tipped the decision there? Do you know? We just couldn't. We just couldn't do it. Uh, we, we actually had it working, and the female character and the, like, the skeletal structure just didn't work well what with all the moves. Skeletal structure? Yeah. That's the only reason, really. It's just, I guess, the, the posture and everything, just everything about the female anatomy wasn't working well on the Spartan rig we had. So we have one rig for the character, and it just didn't work. So we couldn't re. I, you know. Everything is essentially a budget and a time thing. We could have had female characters in, but then we would have had to lose so much more because we had to redo 6,000 animations. It's just not worth it at that point. So that's. So it wasn't a political choice, it was a technical one. Yep, totally technical. Yep. Now, you mentioned subtlety before, and I know people don't realize subtlety in a game of this scope, but what was the biggest technical challenge of doing something of this scale because the game the levels the enemies the character it's all huge uh well there's different challenges for different parts of the game for for example in single player you know we have hecatonkeries it's it's a titan with the giant city on it so that essentially then you've got the whole city moving um and, and then one of the other big things that is is always a challenge for us is we don't have load times so we need to hide load times it means we have to constantly be streaming and that's difficult in itself. It, it would be one thing for us to you play it through a certain part of the level, and then you know you open a door, and then it sits there and it's like loading for 15 seconds or something. We would love that. That would be great. But it, I mean, as artists, it would be it would be so much easier. Sure. But uh, that's always a challenge, just to get that loading working. On the multiplayer side, essentially we have eight Kratoses running around doing yeah. eight versions of moves with eight different armor sets and weapon sets. On at least three levels. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. It's a when we finally got eight in the game working, it just in a box room with nothing in it, it was running at 10 frames a second. And we thought, okay, how are we ever gonna do this? And it took years of just optimizing the code and, and the art and the moves and the effects and the animation, literally everything, we had to rewrite everything. Finally, we got it running. And so it was a performance challenge on the multiplayer side, just how do you get all these, you know, it's, the levels are so big, and, and with the desert level, with the Godspear coming down, we have levels in the final game that are three times bigger than that. And yeah, and there's just so much more going on in those levels. And it's just, every little thing had to be built as optimal as possible just to get that level of fit. So down to the end where a couple days before the game, you know, going out to manufacturing, we're like, okay, I, this level isn't running, it's still crashing out of memory, and but we got it. We, you know, part in your work on it that you just sort of looked at it and you totally like stepped away from it got some distance went that was cool we did good what's that moment that moment's right about now actually oh, yeah okay. yeah Done? yeah 2012 was a really tough time for our studio because we had we knew we had really cool ideas so it's just getting them done it's, it's one thing to get ideas of out there but you know someone came up with an idea but it could take a thousand hours just to implement and so we had all these ideas we, we knew we had a, a good game and 
we just have to finish it and get it up to our standards of the, the polish and, and all that the presentation quality. So 2012 was a lot of hours. Now I can kind of sit back and go, okay, now I haven't looked at it for a couple of weeks. What does it actually look like? And even though I've seen it through the development for years, development, I'm really still happy with it when I see it right now. And I, you know, when it comes out, I'm going to be playing it again. I'm going to be on the multiplayer servers. I know the other guys will be. So I, that's a good feeling because you don't want to work for years, and then it comes out, and you're just like, ah, oh, it's not that good. So, but it's we're all excited. We know it's going to. People are going to like it. I, I'm pretty sure people are going to like it. Last question, what do you think the most misunderstood thing is about what you guys do? Oh, as a studio? Yeah. Or, uh, I don't know, you know, it, it's tricky. I think a lot of people get stuck on the violence, maybe, huh. about God of War, and or maybe our studio in general. I don't, it's entertainment, and I think people bl blame violence in video games, things like that, and I, you know, You'll go see Zero Dark Thirty, and, right. and you'll see like assassinations and everything. This is this game. It's not hyper realistic or anything. Gar God of War is a little bit not cartoony, but it, it's definitely fantasy based. Yeah. And we just want people to have fun and not get too bent up on the violence. It's just you know, it's entertainment. Go have fun. It's not for kids. It's, it's for adults. No one's gonna reenact these in real life. And it's it's purely entertainment and that's what it comes down to i think we're kind of misunderstood for that um, you guys are all just sadists who like seeing bloody stuff i think the industry in general is tired of being blamed for violence in schools and things like that this really has nothing movies are violent movies don't get blamed other you know going to a gun range shooting targets is violent you could you could say so um i, I think the industry as a whole is misunderstood and, and hopefully we can kind of get away from that eventually.